final section of this DVD has been created to show you where your emergency shutoff valves are located. Now Joanna will show us where they're located, how to shut them off, and why it's necessary. But it's important to remember that your actual shutoff may vary in location according to your floor plan. You ready? I sure am. It's important for each and every member of your family to be familiar with the gas, water, and electrical shutoffs in your home in case of an emergency. Today we'll be covering the gas, water, and electrical shutoffs on both the interior of the home and the exterior. We've selected the kitchen area to start with because it's a great example to demonstrate the shutoff of all three services. We'll go ahead and start with electrical. Behind me, you may recognize these GFI outlets. You will find these outlets in every room in your home that has water, as well as the outside of your home. Now these outlets have a safety feature. They are hypersensitive to power surges and water for your protection. If this outlet senses any trouble, it will simply trip and shut itself off. To restart it, you simply head over and hit the reset button and all power will be back up and running. Now for any reason you need to shut off all power to the house, you'll simply go outside and locate your electrical panel. At the bottom of your electrical panel, there's a large emergency disconnect switch. By flipping that switch all the way to the right, you will discontinue any power to your entire home. That is also your emergency shutoff. Now gas is equally as important. Behind me, you'll have your cooktop. On the interior of the home, every source of gas and water has a shutoff valve local to that area. Now this will allow you to shut off service to this area without disrupting the service to the rest of your home. Right underneath your cooktop is a great example of a gas valve shutoff. Again, one quarter turn of that valve will discontinue all gas service to this area. Now if for any reason you find yourself in need of shutting off all gas to your home, you'll head outside and locate your gas main. Near the bottom portion of your gas main is the valve. Now you'll need a crescent wrench. You'll locate the gas valve which will be in a vertical position. By giving it one quarter turn to a horizontal position, you have then discontinued all gas to the home. Now, as I mentioned, water also has a valve at every water source inside of the home. Under the kitchen sink is a great example of water source shutoffs. You'll find two. One valve will discontinue all source to your kitchen sink, and the second one will discontinue all water to your dishwasher. Now, if in the event you do in fact need to discontinue all water to the house, same rule applies. Head outside and locate your water main. By turning the largest knob nearest the ground all the way to the right, you'll then in fact discontinue all water to the house. Now Joanna, in your experience with JTS communities, are there any other emergencies that the homeowner may encounter? John, there certainly are. There are five situations that constitute a warranty emergency. Your first emergency situation would be a complete stoppage of your plumbing system. It's a highly unlikely event in which sewage or wastewater are not allowed to exit the home. Now your second emergency is going to be a serious water leak. Any event in which your main water supply to the home must be discontinued to prevent further damage to the house. Now your third emergency is going to be a loss of electrical service, not due to a storm or an outage, but your home in particular has no power. That's clearly an emergency. Now your fourth item is a complete loss of heat to your entire home. And the fifth item is a gas leak. Everybody knows a gas leak is extremely serious. If for any reason you detect a gas leak, please call your gas company immediately.